Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to be recording to save some money separating some plants to get two for the price of one. And in this case, it's going to be a Texas sage. And let's see what happens. And check how pretty the elephant ear is right now. So pretty. Okay, I hope the audio sounds good. I'm going to be separating this Texas sage, which is two little plants inside. In each little bottle, in each little pot. So, I am going to try to save money here in separating them. I have three of them. All of them have two. And in theory, this should work. I have some um, perlite and some dirt, some potting soil. And let's just go from there. If I see that the roots are getting too destroyed by separating them, I'm just not going to do it. But I think we don't need two plants so close together if I want them as separate bushes or little trees. I want them in the perimeter of the house. Okay, so they are, see, they are coming apart gently all right so here they are there is two of them and I'm going to put them in these little buckets that I previously made holes in them so I will quickly add my dirt which I was not ready so quickly because I thought it was going to take me longer but I should have had this already open well should have it already open So basically, some dirt, some perlite, then quickly the little tree, and more dirt. For all the mess I keep making, I've been thinking of getting one of those mats. And what you don't want to do is getting the, the trunk of the plant buried. You have to leave it where it was originally because that's what this particular plant likes. So here's plant one. Here's 
here comes plant two. In theory, I guess I can use the same dirt that it had. So we can do that. It's pretty much the same type. I think it feels pretty much the same. So here is the second one. And now I'm going to do the other that I have over here. These two. So you see, to separate two plants that have been growing together, you put them in a secure surface and then you gently with your fingers you can separate each other just take your time and make sure that you're not tearing many of the roots if it was a fern I wouldn't mind if I go and get a knife and cut it in as many parts as I need just to separate them and split them but when it is this other type of plant that needs the roots more I like to be very gentle And I'm not exactly propagating, I'm just dividing the, the plants, two separate plants, to make them grow separate, independent, and to save money, and to have more plants from the same plastic pot. Because sometimes they put some, like two or three, in case that one dies, you still have another one. Or because to look fuller once they start growing but sometimes being too close together is not good for the plants so I just want to save money and have them individually growing so they are not stuffed together and getting the roots all tangled as you see I'm putting them immediately in new dirt and water so they are not going to be in shock although this particular Texas sage can stand a lot of type of dirt and drought and everything. I still want to be careful because I really don't want to kill the plants but seems like it's going to be working nicely. When should you separate the plants? Preferably in the spring or the summer when it is still not too hot. Definitely not in the middle of winter unless uh, you really really have to and you can put them in a indoor place where they're not going to be suffering from the shock but in the spring the plants are full of hormones and waking up from the winter so they are all full of energy to stand the mistreatment of being dragged from their dirt and separated into pots and perhaps having their roots torn a bit When you split, divide, or separate the plants in spring, they have more of a chance in an entire season to grow before the winter. I want to use this Texas sage as a privacy fence type so I'm going to be planting them in a way that they are together but not too close and the distance to plant each plant or shrub is not like if it says three feet you don't do three feet for each plant you take like half of that length that they recommend in the tags and you use half of it for each plant so at the end it would be the equivalent of three-ish feet apart like if it was three feet maybe it's one foot or whatever the plant is each plant is different right so you use half of that amount 
to keep that distance in between plants. If you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing if you like gardening and plant videos. This plant, the Texas sage, is not exactly a sage. It is also known as the barometer bush or cenizo, which is the ash bush. And it has the particular thing that it shows the flowers when it is about to rain, so they call it barometer bush. It is native to Texas and to the northeast states in Mexico. It is really good for drier and warmer areas or having it as an edge. And they have it in, it comes in darker leaves, also in these silver leaves. And it is super cute. And of course, I didn't have more pots. So I'm going to put some of it, I mean this one, back over here in one of these other pots. Trying to pour the soil in there, not on me, but it's kind of impossible. Now that they are all separate, we give them a good amount of water and they are going to be sitting for a few days in the shade with morning light and they are going to get all happy and ready to be in their new homes. <laughs> 